What's going on, everybody? Happy Sunday. So, kind of a part two where this should be like a part three or four by now, but so much has happened with this in such a short amount of time. A lot of people have covered it. This picture is floating around all over. I see an Instagram. Um, I think even Twitter had a picture of this out there. But let's, let's just backtrack here. So, Breaker goes out there, takes the pack off screen, states that it had some kind of corner possible damage and pulls a new pack on the screen never tells anybody about it opens the second pack and then it blows up all over social media they do their statement saying that you know all oh, wrong thing yeah you know they should did this and that so I believe was it the 18th they went back out there said oh we're gonna open the original pack as you can see, the third pack is not the original pack. Don't know. Hey, maybe they had a moment of memory lapse or whatever it may be out there. But still, you opened the wrong pack. Do your own due diligence. Make sure it's does correct before you do it. And as cardinal rule number one for any breaker out there, keep the product on camera. It's the simplest and really only biggest rule you need to follow out there. And so many do not do it. They're more worried about the facial cam showing, their chats from six different platforms rolling, and everything else, or a TV that's on above them because they want to watch Monday Night Football instead of worrying about the break being on camera, everything coming out correctly, you know, that's the purpose, really, of having two cameras, an overhead camera, because when you try to open up a lot of cases, you might not have a lot of room on whatever you're breaking on, table, desk, whatever. And when you go turn that box upside down, you block your front camera. That's why you have another one to show that all the boxes are there, you're flipping them all over, in case when you're doing it, you knock that main front camera down, you have an overhead camera. So... You know, I harped on this now for two, three years, ever since the big old bubble uh, went up and, you know, cards went stupid crazy. Everybody was breaking retail packs at 20X and stuff. But, you know, this is what's going to happen. Even experienced breakers out there don't do dual camera and stuff like that. It's really bad. You know, it's just one of those things. But what I want to do, they now recently, yesterday, which would have been Saturday, they opened this pack. We're going to see what was in the pack, pay attention to what's said in the clip, and then I'm going to come back and I just want to talk about one little last point on to it. All right, be right back, guys. It is 6 o'clock. It's time. Set up here. All right, there we go. Okay, so as you can see, that pack over there, and you can cross-check the videos, that's the correct pack. Uh, I had a momentary uh, issue where I picked up the wrong pack. Uh, you know, I'm human, prone to error. I grabbed the wrong pack that I thought was the original pack. All the packs that we use here are sealed. I apologize for the mishap. Um, I just picked up the wrong one. And here we go. You can see this is the pack right here. Here we go. We're going to open it. We all agree that's the pack. Bazooka has it all. There we go. What's up, Jim? All right, here we go. Ah, uh, you might have. Yeah, it was damaged. The corner here is wanged. Like it looked like it had just been like uh, it looked like it had just been set down really hard. That's why. Bill Smith. Calvin Nett. Mark Landersberg. Ooh. Is this the inaction or is this a, uh, is a super action? But look at the centering on it. It's a nice looking Kareem. 
Yeah, there are other bazookas though, but this one has the right pattern on the back. They're all they're folded differently. There's a lot of different variables, Jim. Sonny Parker. Third year Jack Sigma Super Action. How many packs do you have that day? I'll, I have I had six left in him. Well, the first day I had fifteen. Sold them down, and I believe it was six. I just picked up the wrong one. Phil Ford. And I am glad to see that there, there wasn't any damage on the actual cards. Just the pack looked like there could have been. Nate Archibald. Otis Birdsong. Tom Lagarde. We have a Lakers team card. With Kareem on it, that's a nice one. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I have. We we this is the popular skew. We keep a lot of it, and we've pulled a lot of heat out of it. George Gervin and a Dallas Mavericks scoring leader. This sort of been on the wax with the wax stain. Uh, Sparknell Lagarde Davis. This is the card on the wax. Cleve Dog. I am not, sir. But here we go. Uh, the GM and you knew. So I saw the damage as I'm flip as I'm pulling the pack out to break, and I decided to pass on that pack and give him a better pack. Oh, there's no a matter of fact. If you look at, there wasn't okay. But we're gonna move on. I did pull heat out of 81 last night. Y'all want to see it. See, gum intact, everything. Everything. Now, I, quite frankly, there's nothing I can do to prove a negative. Um, and there we go. I will go through a break of this stuff I had last night. Here's a break I had last night. Where is that pack? Let's see. Is this it? Yeah. This is last night. This is a pack from last night. And again, this pack was live. You can all see it. Here's where it came in. Beauty. Do I have any unopened in stock? Uh, yeah, I got one left. There it is. The last one. <laughs> Give me free stuff anyway. I, 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 I respect that, Big Daddy. Magic Johnson. I'll probably do some more. Magic Johnson. Hey, T Berg, that was two years ago. And uh, people were late getting their cards back from PSA when PSA was really backed up. And uh, everybody got their cards. Everybody got the, the cards they submitted. Uh, that was a really, that was a really painful time for me as well. But you know, everybody in the day, everybody got the cards. Uh, like one guy went like went went like uh, he subbed some expensive Luca. I don't know how he didn't get upcharged, but he went like something absurd, like fourteen for twenty one, getting PSA ten Luca parallels, and did not get upcharged on any of them. So you know, and we ate a lot of the shipping. You know, we did we we did what we needed to do to make up for him being late. Um, there was a wider issue that I wasn't involved in, but, um, you know, I mean, that's, I, I get lumped in a lot of stuff on that that I didn't have any, any hand in, but there we go. Brush, nothing gets brushed aside, man. I'm not chewing the gum, Rick Lee. <laughs> nothing gets brushed aside. It's all, you know, it's, it's all been, you know, discussed ad nauseum and dealt with i mean you may not you may not have seen it and i'm sorry for that i, I can't like uh push it out everywhere how many scams you involved with 
effed up. I'm sorry, man. Like, um, we are going to get back to business here in a minute. So, no, this is our stock. Somebody can buy it if you want. It's for sale. Tell you what, FCB, or FCB, uh, Vintage Breaks, Vintage Breaks, guys, if anybody wants to see what's in this last pack, feel free to purchase it. I will, I will put a briefcase bounty on one pack. And the post got, I don't know, Montana, I'm not an admin. Like, I like when this post hit, I bailed, because I, I have to, you know? No administrative decisions are made in that, in, in that group. None are made that you're involved in. And I, I, followed, that, I followed that rule to a T. All right, so it was about, what, six, seven minutes long? I don't know if I said that originally or not. So again, this is what I'm looking at. I, you know, it, your past is your past. If you have a tainted past, you got to live with that. And the PSA thing, it is what it is. You know, hey, you have a tainted past. Um, as far as the Facebook group thing, <laughs> you all know the different opinions and thoughts out there are mine, so I'm not even going to touch it. If you do something wrong, be humble. You know, in your apology that you did this wrong, we're going to fix it. Show how you're going to fix it. You know, with this here, they should have another camera. It's not fixated on somebody's face on there. Showing an overhead view to where you can see and feel safe as a buyer onto it. It just, to me, I, I don't get it. Now, if you guys listen to the video, he talks about that he grabbed the wrong pack. And then somebody corrected him and talked about the corner. He goes, oh, yeah, well, it was the corner, but I grabbed the wrong pack. Which is it? Stick to one story. Your original story was there was something wrong with that jam corner or whatever he talks about. You know, with the older wax packs, less that's going to look that way. That's a chance you take. Especially when you're buying non whatever you want to call it graded sealed packs and stuff like that you're going to take a chance and if your buyers are going to pay to get into that that's a chance they got to take you know one of the biggest things i learned when i was doing stuff from like 84 tops 89 score football i had preset i said this is row one row two row three row four and we're going to start with row one pack one here and i explained it all out and we did it by box. So there was no questions about switching packs out and all that other stuff. So always different thoughts and methods on how to do a break. And you always try to think, what is the safest thing for my customers to feel safe at the same time frame that I can do? And I'm going to feel safe on both ends of it. But, hey, I'm no longer a breaker. I haven't done it in two years probably. So Times change, guys. Times change. This is all the stuff we see across the board with this stuff now just drives me to a new realm completely. As far as this, you're still going to catch it, guy. I mean, no matter what out there, you're going to get heckled and questioned forever on to this. You just got to deal with it. Be humble. Move on. I mean, would I buy into a break? No, and I already said that with that there, I stopped breaking a long time ago with vintage breaks and my reasons why. Um, it just wasn't for me. So this is what you guys see, what was in the pack, last pack. He did open it up. I pretty much eyeballed what the original pack was compared to what he opened on screen. Unless somebody saw something different, I think that was the exact pack because I was trying to go off of uh, where the logos were in place when I stopped the camera on both of them and kind of like how, I, I guess you could say like if you look in that first le uh, left-hand picture, it says first pack, how the uh, big thick crease and stuff was, like where the fold was, and I'm just guessing it was. I, I could be wrong. Maybe somebody else has, you know, a different thought or process on to it. But we did get to see what was in that last pack at the same time frame. Hopefully this is closed. And maybe they'll get a top camera, a second camera to show everything that's in keep it on screen. That's the biggest key thing. Like I said, that's breaker 101, rule number one. Keep it all on screen. All right, guys, that's pretty much it with this. We pretty much everywhere across the board has beat this like a dead horse out there. Um, I'll have some more videos coming out this week. Be on the lookout for the Gridiron Games so you can register onto it. Other than that, take care, have a safe week, and I'll catch you later.